dear students we shall continue our discussion on the application of partial differentiation till my previous discussion we have uh, taken the application problems on euler's theorem then one more uh, sample of example i will consider on the application of euler's theorem then we shall discuss three important properties of uh, differentiations one is total derivative next one is implicit function and one more is composite function after that jacobian will be the last application of this partial differentiation so now i shall take one more example on euler's theorem because little importance you have to give for euler's theorem then how that goes for another example where uh, we can use that first part of euler's theorem x into del u by del x plus y into del u by del y is equal to n into u i will write one more example on the application on the study of this euler's theorem that problem is like this <coughs> if u is equal to cos inverse of x plus y divided by square root of x plus square root of y then show that then show that that is nothing but x into del u by del x plus y into del u by del y is equal to minus 1 by 2 it is called u. Let us see how this result uh, uh, comes out from uh, the application of Euler's theorem first part. So what is given to us in the previous problem we discussed tan inverse and this function is cos inverse okay in the solution given and directly I will be writing this one given that cos I will shift to the left side that is cos u is equal to x plus y over root x plus it is root y and this I will call it as z. As we have taken the assumption in the previous problem, same type of discussion we are going to take that is cos u is equal to some other variable z. That means z is connected to u and u is connected to x and y. Then partial derivative is required u with respect to x and v with respect to y. But here I am taking this z can be uh, directly equated to cos u okay then I can split like this this one two types of uh, options that is z equal to cos u and z equal to that is this z is equal to x plus y over root x plus it is root y then so any one of those two you can take not necessarily that uh, z you have to consider if you do not take z directly also you can differentiate provided you are good enough in uh, uh, strong enough in taking the differentiation right that is cos u this is z you can equate this value with cos u you can equate this z with this function now i shall continue with a similar uh, type of uh, previous uh, steps previous problem steps i will take this z equal to cos u but what is the homogeneity of this function? The homogeneity means once again I will replace this x by lambda x plus y by lambda y whole divided by lambda x under root under root lambda y. This is lambda into x plus y divided by it is root lambda into root x and root y okay now uh, lambda is in the numerator and la root lambda in the denominator simplify this that is giving lambda to the power 1 minus half then x plus y then denominator root x plus root y okay that is z equal to lambda to the power that is 1 minus 1 by 2 that gives 1 minus half that is equal to lambda to the power 1 by 2 because 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 and the function is same. Therefore, this implies 
uh, the given function the given function is homogeneous the given function is homogeneous of degree 1 by 2. So, whatever this value comes then you must write if that is the case then we have taken a new symbol z as dependent variable and uh, uh, x and y as independent variables and z will be connected to u. So, your symbolic representation is nothing but z equal to uh, z is connected to u, u is connected to x comma y. This is your symbolic form. In every problem you construct like that. Then you need to take z with respect to x differentiation partial and z with respect to y differentiation partial. That means partially you have to differentiate keeping one symbol as constant and uh, another symbol you have to treat temporarily as variable. Okay. Then what is next we have to discuss that is cos u is there and z is there. I will take z equal to cos u. This implies if z is a homogeneous function of degree 1 by 2, this implies x into del z by it is del x y into it is del z by del y that is n into z. You can write directly here itself n is 1 by 2 because it represents the degree and z is nothing but cos u. Okay. So, this is the construction. Now, if you want you can write some number for this equation something like equation 1. Okay. So, now z equal to cos u means we want uh, del z by del x. Okay. What is that differentiation? From this quantity del z by del x because z is not our given function, our given function is u, z is not at all in the picture. We have taken z as new symbol at the end we uh, eliminate this z. Del z by del x is equal to by chain rule that is del z by del u into del u by del x. So, why I am taking like this? Because z is not directly connected to x. Z is first of all taking u and further u is taking x and u is taking y. Therefore, first we have to discuss the relation between z and u and later you have to discuss the relation between u and x and y. Okay. So, when this is the case del z by del u means cos u differentiation with respect to u. What is that? Minus of it is sin u and del u by del x means you write as it is because we do not know the value. We know the value, but we do not differentiate this part because u is equal to this one. This could have been differentiated, but not required because according to Euler's theorem del z by del x will give in terms of del u by del x. According to the Euler's theorem first part in terms of the derivative only you have to put it and del z by it is del y should be del z by del u into del u by it is del y is equal to minus of sin u because cos u differentiation this is cos u differentiation is minus sin and uh, uh, del u by it is del y. Then by Euler's theorem then by Euler's theorem we have this chapter that means this discussion or equation x into in place of del z divided by del x in place of del z by del y these two values you have to put it x into minus it is sin u okay, sin u and uh, into del u by del x plus of y into in place of this quantity you put this product minus sin u del u by del y. This is already written 1 by 2 it is cos of u. Simplify in the next step by taking sin u as common factor along with minus sin. Then x into it is del u by del x and plus of it is y into <coughs> del u by it is del y is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 cos u 
and divided by minus of it is sin. What is cos by sin? That is minus of cot. That is cot of u. What is your answer? Minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2 cot u. That we have proved. Minus 1 by 2 cot u. That means cos u divided by sin u. So, like this every problem you set uh, the steps. First of all, you have to define by new symbol and the next uh, relation is z equal to in terms of the ratio and then you find out uh, the uh, homogeneity of what degree. Afterwards, you take uh, differential coefficients and replace those differential coefficients in the theorem. As a result, you will be getting the simplification of this whatever the result is given. So, like this you can continue the problems. I would like to stop this uh, discussion. Now, I will move on to the next uh, topic. Move on to the next topic. That topic is uh, application of this partial differentiation for three different uh, calculations. One is total derivative and the another one is composite function and one more is implicit function. First, let me complete uh, the total derivative by one or two examples. But what is the meaning of total derivative? Let me explain. Okay. So, total derivative is nothing but uh, the chain rule. For example, here itself we can discuss the total derivative. Now, uh, z is connected to u, u is connected to x and y. That means, one relation is given with uh, one set of uh, symbols and further those symbols are connected with some other symbols. Then we need to take chain rule application which is nothing but if it is with respect to single variable in the left side derivative is called the total derivative as an ordinary derivative. So, how this uh, works in our partial differentiation application, how this works? Let us uh, verify the total differentiation. So, I will write only one sentence, what exactly the meaning of uh, total derivative, then how this uh, uh, symbol that is total derivative symbol can be utilized. Total differential coefficient. This is another important concept. Another important concept where we apply that is total derivative in terms of partial derivative. The total derivative is nothing but uh, ordinary derivative, but which will be explained in terms of partial derivative. Let u is equal to that is uh, f of x comma y and x is equal to something like g of t and y is equal to h of t. That means, this clearly implies y, u is connected to x y and x y are connected to t. This you understand in depth. Every problem, every discussion will depend on your this basic relation. This is the case of one symbol, this is u connected to two symbols connected to single notation. Therefore, 1, 2, 1. This is total derivative, but here if it is more than 1, that is composite function. Then, so uh, according to this, the total derivative will be taken, that is del u, that means du by dt equal to, first of all, u is a function of x comma y, that means del u by del x into del x by del t plus del u by del y into del y by del t. If you understand this, this is nothing but your chain rule basically, but one more term is extended in this discussion that is all. Actually, this is the only term. If u is connected to x and x is connected to t, y will not be in the picture at all. But we have taken now, if this y is not there, you think like that u is connected to x and x is connected to t. This term will not be there and this y will not be there. That is not coming in partial differentiation. But in partial differentiation, every dependent variable will be connected to two independent variables and each independent variable is connected to single quantity that is a parameter we call. That common symbol is called parameter always. This is the parameter t and t. That is a parameter but this is called total derivative. This is case number 1. Now, case number 2. Let uh, extend for one more symbol. 
if u is equal to f of x comma y comma z then x is equal to that is g of t and y is equal to h of t and z equal to k of t that means here how this symbol you are going to represent u is connected to x y z and all these three are connected to single quantity that is t therefore here 1 2 1 is there but here 1 3 and 1 okay this is one symbol this is three symbols and this is one symbol this is one symbol two symbols and one symbol so what uh, we are going to understand by this as a total differential coefficient that means we are going to give the connectivity between ordinary differentiation and partial differentiation ordinary differentiation always will be called as total differential coefficient which will be expressed in terms of linear combination of partial derivatives this is called linear combination linear combination means the first term plus second term plus third term like that it goes okay so this is the case of 1 2 1 this is the case of 1 3 1 in any one of these two you can expect your study this goes for every discipline of engineering whenever you want to discuss about the total differential coefficient either in this form you will get uh, the situation which you have to handle or in this type of situation which you have to handle now uh, from these two two cases i will solve the problems how this uh, concept will work then one or two examples i'll give i don't go for more number of examples because you can uh, uh, follow the same procedure what we discussed now okay so one example i'm going to take on this total derivative first example if u is equal to x cube plus y cube comma find du by dt as total derivative total derivative when x equal to it is a cos t a cos t and y is equal to a sin t that means we have to take uh, the same type of relation which is going to match which is going to map with this existing problem now uh, anyway uh, we are discussing uh, uh, on the same application now i will give the problems this first problem is on the first case and second problem is on the second case you can continue any number of problems with this procedure okay you understand the given situation that situation is like this uh, u equal to that means given that u takes x cube plus y cube comma x equal to a cos t and y is equal to a sin t okay this itself is sufficient for you to understand the first case this is one okay how you are going to represent u is connected to x comma y and it is connected to single quantity that is t okay so one is connected to two two is connected to one right if this is more than one symbol then it is called total derivative in the partial differentiation in the partial differential symbols only we write but here ordinary derivative symbol we are going to write whenever all uh, 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 symbols given in the given in the relation are connected with a single quantity if more than single then partial derivative we write okay so now according to this we will find uh, the total derivative exactly i will use this symbol and for this uh, i have not written you can write like this for the total derivative du by dt is equal to del u by del x del x by del t plus del u by del y del y by del t plus del u by del z 
and del z by it is del t. This is the total derivative for 1, 3, 1. This is the total derivative for 1, 2, 1. Now, this is the case of 1, 2, 1. Exactly, you must use this relation. Okay? Then, uh, let total derivative total derivative be given by given by u is connected to x and y and t in the symbolic form what I represented same type of problem is there that is du divided by it is dt that is equal to del u by del x del x by del t plus del u by it is del y and del y by it is del t. You remember uh, these derivatives are partial, right? Th those derivatives are partial means that is x with respect to t and y with respect to t will become the ordinary derivatives because x is a function of single quantity and y is a function of single quantity. This can also be written as, this can also be written as del u by del x into dx by it is dt plus del u by it is del y into dy by it is dt. Then uh, both are correct. You have to understand uh, uh, the uh, type of writing. First is partial, next is ordinary. Here first is partial, next is ordinary. This is the next step after writing the definition directly. Definition directly is this one, both are partial here. Then one is partial, another one is ordinary, right. So now I will take the differentials, how this uh, step goes. du by dt is the total derivative. Total derivative, it is du by dt, that is del u by del x. What is your u? Here in terms of x and y. Therefore, del u by del x is differentiation only with respect to x. Differentiation only with respect to x keeping y as constant since it is a summation of two terms, second term becomes 0. Then uh, del x by del t, del x by del t means dx by dt. This is minus of a sin t. Okay? Then and another one uh, which you have to write according to this step plus of 3y square and differentiation is a it is cos of t. This is uh, what the step explains but it is not the final answer because you have to uh, write the answer u with respect to t only by removing this x and y. How to remove? Substitute these values x and y which are given in terms of t. Therefore, du by dt is equal to 3 times x square. What is that x square? It is a square. x square means a square here a cos t into cos square t into minus a sin t one term plus 3 times a square it is sin square t into a cos t this gives minus 3 a square. I can take it as common 3 a square that means 3 a cube. So, one more one more a is there inside a square into a that becomes a cube. So, 3 a cube I can take common and cos square t sin t here sin square t cos t product I will take outside that is uh, so cos t that means cos t sin t. Okay cos t into sin t remaining terms are that is cos t remaining terms are cos, cos t with uh, minus sign here and here plus sign okay minus of this is sin t minus of sin t this is du by dt it is only ordinary simplification. Now you can see this there is no presence of x and y. There is a presence of t in both the cases. 
that is 3 a cube into cos square sin t and sin square cos t that is all the answer. That means you have to put it uh, the value of the given function only in the form of t that is called total derivative. I shall use uh, the same concept for extending 3 variables. This is the case of 3 variables, this is the case of 2 variables. So, one more example let me take on the basis of 3 variables on the basis of uh, application of this step. Let me see how this function behaves. That problem will be for 3 different uh, values if u is equal to x square plus y square plus z square and x equal to e to the power t and y is equal to e to the power t into cos t and z equal to e to the power t into sin t. Okay. Find find the total derivative find the total derivative as du by dt and verify the result verify the result by direct substitution This is your uh, one of the important examples you can think of because most of the times this uh, case has been discussed and uh, the complete uh, meaning of this is uh, two stages you have to write the solution. In one stage like this you write and another, another uh, uh, chance you can take by direct substitution making that uh, u in terms of single variable whether you are getting the same answer or different answer. So, we will check both the cases. Now, in the solution, in the solution u equal to x square plus y square plus z square. Okay. Then <coughs> uh, x equal to e to the power t, y is equal to e to the power t cos t and z equal to e to the power t sin t. What is your a uh, symbolic representation that is this implies u is connected to x, y, z, it is connected to t that means 1 connected to 3 symbols and that is ending with 1 symbol that is 1 is connected to 3, 3 is connected to 1 then you need to take the differentiation that is du by dt as total differentiation. You have discussed uh, in the previous cases only summation of summation of two partial derivatives, but in this case one term, second term and third term because three values are uh, given. Now, first of all uh, we will write uh, total derivative in terms of partial derivative and afterwards all these three values will be substituted in the given problem then that does not constitute the case of uh, uh, partial differentiation, it will constitute the case of ordinary differentiation. Then how this uh, total derivative can be applied using this 1 connected to 3 connected to 1. Therefore, you need to take 3 differential coefficients with respect to x separately and with respect to y separately and with respect to z separately and further y x with respect to t alone y with respect to t alone and z with respect to t alone. Okay. Then total differential coefficient, total differential coefficient what it is du by it is dt del u by del x del x by del t del u by del y del y by del t del u by del z del z by del t. 
all the values are available, you write it. Now this is del u by del x, u is x square plus y square plus z square. You have to take the differentiation only with respect to x, that is 2x. Del x with respect to t, x is exponential into e to the power t. Del y, that is 2y, that is 2y and y with respect to t, here it is a product that is e to the power t, e to the power t into cos t as it is e to the power t differentiation remains to be same and cos t becomes minus sin e to the power t into minus of it is sin, uh, sorry sin t already minus sin I kept outside okay and plus of 2z into e to the power t this is also a product into sin t plus of e to the power t into it is cos t. Then we can write uh, uh, this uh, simplification by the elimination of x, y, z by substituting the given values. Okay. So u in terms of t only we have to take that is 2 into x that is e to the power t into e to the power t plus 2 into y e to the power t what is that value of y cos t cos t multiplied by e to the power t into cos t minus e to the power t it is sin t and plus of 2z 2 into e to the power t it is sin t into e to the power t it is sin t plus e to the power t into it is cos t. Now how this uh, how this step looks, how this step looks uh, that means what is your opinion? Your opinion should be this is clearly free from symbol x, symbol y and symbol z. That means now it is the case of function of single independent variable. That means in the left side du by dt is in terms of only in the form of t that is called total derivative. Now what is the uh, simplification? You will see the uh, very simple value after the simplification you are going to get it. That uh, step goes like this. Here 2 into e to the power t e to the power t that becomes e to the power 2t. Okay? So 2 into e to the power 2t. Here this is e to the power t into e to the power t that is plus of I will release every bracket 2 into e to the power 2t cos into cos cos square t and this I will take inside minus 2 into e to the power 2t that is cos t into sin t that is over and plus of 2 into e to the power 2t that is sin t into sin t that becomes sin square t plus 2 into e to the power 2t okay, that is sin t into cos t. Now in every problem normally that uh, mathematics uh, steps of simplification expect in every situation you must go for the correct simplification. Uh, if we uh, de uh, take the deviation that means a small correction a small change if we make then uh, result will be totally different but we have to be take utmost care while simplifying this step that too especially with plus and minus sign now I think I can cancel it looks like uh, one term I can cancel 2 into e to the power 2t cos t sin t with minus 2 into e to the power 2t sin t cos t with plus sign so this product I can cancel and from remaining from all the terms I can take this it is 2 into e to the power 2t common that is multiplied to cos square t and cos square t and plus of it is sin square t. Okay? 2 into e to the power 2t that is cos square t plus sin square t. Is it okay? Uh, here one term and here another term. So 2 into e to the power 2t I kept it outside and here 1 this one 1 plus right 1 plus because this whole quantity I kept it outside 
then this is equal to 2 into e to the power 2t multiplied to 1 plus of 1. Why it is 1? Because cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1 according to trigonometric formula. Therefore, 2 into e to the power 2t into 2. This becomes 4 into e to the power 2t is the total derivative value. Is the total derivative value. Is the total derivative value means with respect to ordinary symbol, ordinary derivative, no, not a partial derivative. So, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 is multiplied to 2, then you will be getting 4. Now, your uh, uh, answer is correct or not, you have to go for verification. That is what asked in this problem. Normally, when this problem appears, always they attach this question, uh, verify the result by direct substitution. Okay. We will take by the direct substitution, that means we will uh, make this function x, y, z only in the form of t. Therefore, direct differentiation, you need not to write all these details. Directly you can write that what is the total differentiation. Okay. Then uh, you can write uh, this much as verification. Right. I will write that as the result of total derivative by direct verification. Now, by direct verification, how you are going to handle the direct verification means substitute all the three values in this function, that is all. u is equal to x square plus y square plus z square, it is ok. Then what is x value? e to the power t, that means e to the power t whole square plus e to the power t into cos t whole square plus e to the power t into sin t whole square. Now, you release this square. So, how this equation looks? This equation looks, it takes single dependent variable, but three in, uh, sorry, single independent variable. So, this is equal to e to the power 2t plus e to the power 2t because whole square means this is e to the power 2t and cos square t and uh, what is that? That is sin square t, sin square t. This will be common factor that is uh, e to the power 2t plus e to the power 2t into 1 that is uh, that is 1 is here then uh, this is e to the power 2t, e to the power 2t cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1. That is 2 times e to the power 2t. Then what is this value? That is u equal to 2 times e to the power it is 2t. E, uh, uh, this is the value of the given function that is u as a dependent variable 2 times e to the power 2t. So, this becomes uh, u is a function of t, that is all. That means ordinary uh, derivative, means function of one variable connected with only one symbol, that is a function of single independent variable. Then du by dt, here you cannot write partial because it is only function of single independent variable. What is the differential coefficient? That is 2 into this much means 2 into it is e to the power 2t as it is and 2t differentiation is 2. The answer is 2 into 2, it is 4 e to the power 2t. Your answer is 4 e to the power 2t. By the direct substitution, you are getting this much and through total derivative in terms of partial derivatives, you are getting this answer. That means mathematically, this verification has been done. I would like to stop up to this much. Uh, extra problems you can solve on this topic like this only. Now, we will move on to the next discussion that is called composite function. So, as I told you that composite function is the extension of this. Instead of single variable, further these symbols will be in terms of more than one variable that is called composite function. So, how this composite function explains, let us understand by taking the symbolic representation.
So we, we will define uh, the uh, fu functional relation uh, just by comparing with the previous one. You can see very clearly the difference, how that uh, uh, difference uh, uh, between uh, 1, 2, 1 and 1, 3, 1. But here the final form of that is not 1, it is more than 1. That is called composite function. Okay. So, uh, definition composite function. Here, let u is equal to f of x comma y and x is equal to g of r comma theta and y is equal to h of r comma theta. You can just compare with the previous uh, uh, concept and this concept. Previous concept was one with only one symbol, but this concept is one with two, again two with two, like that. This represents is not a ordinary differential coefficient, but it is a partial differential coefficient. So how this is? U is connected to x comma y. It is connected to r comma theta. That means 1 is 2, 2 is connected to 2. This is 1, this is 1, this is 1. If this is 1, that is total derivative. If this is more than 1, it is not a total derivative. This is composite function, ordinary differentiation. That means u, now I am taking with respect to r and u I am taking with respect to theta. That means u I am taking differential with respect to r and u I am taking with respect to theta. This constitutes the meaning of composite function. So this is a very important concept because mathematics will help most of the engineering problems to handle uh, how the situation comes. For example, in the case of civil, mechanical, electrical and chemical engineering, you will come across so many fluid mechanics problems. In those fluid mechanics problems, thermodynamics, even uh, uh, heat transfer theory and mass transfer theory, you will you need to understand the differential equations uh, in depth. Even in electrical engineering also, electronics engineering also, you need to understand all the differential equations and differentiation. Uh, totally, I can call it as a meaning of calculus, uh, application of calculus, both in the form of differentiation and as well as in the form of integration. Then you need to understand these fundamentals. So there you will find comfortable how these things will look as the important uh, applications. Right. Now I want to take this uh, u with respect to r. Then I cannot take uh, ordinary derivative du by dr. That means del u by del r I have to write because u is not directly connected to single variable. This is two variables. So when once one symbol that means any function exceeds one symbol, then it is not a total ordinary differentiation, it is a partial differentiation. Then del u by del r is equal to del u by del x into del x by uh, uh, del u by del r. Uh, that means del u, u first with respect to x and x with respect to r plus del u by it is del y, del y by with respect to same that is del r. Then del u by del theta, this is nothing but <coughs> del u by that is del x and del x by del theta. Here I have taken r keeping theta as constant, I have taken theta keeping r as constant that is del u by del y into, into del y divided by del theta. You understand these steps very carefully. This is called composite functions. Composite functions. Composite functions for 1 connected to 2 connected to 2. Now I will write 1 connected to 3 and 3 connected to 2 or 3 like that. Okay. Then uh, this is case number 1. Next case number 2. Let u equal to f of x comma y comma z. Then uh, 
that is x is equal to a function of r theta and t right and y is equal to function of r theta and t and uh, z is equal to a function of r theta t. I may be using like g, h and k they are representing the functional uh, uh, relation symbol that means it is a mapping it is a mapping between LHS to RHS ok. How it looks when you compare this u this is 2 is there but here 3 are there right that means x, y, z x, y, z these are connected r theta and t therefore 1 is connected to 3 again it is connected to 3 this is 1 3 uh, sorry 1 2 2 and this is 1 3 3 this may be 3 or 2 but if it is 1 then it is total derivative it is an ordinary derivative if it is more than 1 it is a composite function this is the case of 3 variables but the step goes like this uh, there are 3 derivatives which you have to take that is del u by del r you have to write one more term addition that is all that is same two terms that is del u by it is del r and del oh sorry del u by del x because first it is connected with respect to x and then it is connected to x divided by it is del r plus del u by del theta sorry it is y and del y by it is del r plus del u by it is del t and uh, del t divided by it is del r it entirely it is with respect to r keeping theta and t as constant this is step number 1 and step number 2 with respect to theta. So, everywhere same in place of r you can write theta everywhere same that is same into that is del x by it is del theta plus same del y divided by del theta plus same it is del t divided by it is del theta. Next is next is del uh, u over del t is equal to same that is del x by del t plus same it is del x divided uh, y divided by it is del t plus same it is del x y z that is del z by it is del t. So, these three steps will explain 1 to 3, 3 to 3 like that. So, this is called composite function based on this information now I will write the problem. One one problem if you understand here then uh, I think uh, easily you can uh, uh, solve the remaining problems with uh, different notations or uh, even you can extend for four different symbols also. That means initially this symbol is connected to four values and uh, uh, other four values will be connected to more than one symbol that is called composite function. Then let me take an example. I will write two examples, but one example is sufficient because for your syllabus only two variables is there. So, only one example I will take on uh, one variable, two variables and two variables. How this uh, uh, composite function can work uh, in order to explain that is uh, in the form of composite functions to as total derivative. That means, you will be getting uh, the composite function total derivative. Uh, where single function that means one variable with one variable and uh, uh, sorry one variable two, two variables and two variables with uh, two variables one variable with three and three variables with uh, three variables ok. So, let me uh, extend the same idea in order to explain the total differential coefficient as uh, not ordinary but partial ok. If the problem is like this. <coughs> if u is equal to something like x square plus y square, here 
x is equal to e to the power r and uh, sin theta and y is equal to e to the power minus r and cos theta. So this is one such uh, problem where we understand uh, the composite function uh, with respect to one variable connected to two and then connected to two. How this behaves let us verify. Now given is u equal to x square, u equal to x square plus y square. Okay. This implies u is a function of x comma y. Now further x equal to e to the power r and sin theta implies x is a function of r comma theta right and y is a function of r comma theta that is y is equal to e to the power minus r into it is cos theta. Now how this uh, function will work uh, we will apply this composite function in order to write the left side differentiation ok. So uh, it is it is the relation what type it is the relation u connected to x y connected to r and theta u is connected to x comma y and it is connected to r comma theta then del u by del u by del r del r nothing but del u by del x and del x by del r plus del u by this equation I am writing del u by del uh, y and del y by it is del r. Now you substitute the differentials what is that? So u with respect to x, u with respect to x means it is 2x okay? and x with respect to r, x with respect to r means this is constant e to the power r into sin of theta plus del u by del y it is 2y and del y by del r, del y by del r means it is minus e to the power minus r because differentiation of uh, e to the power minus r is uh, e to the power minus r as it is and then minus 1 will come out that becomes the coefficient that is minus 1 and it is cos theta. Okay. Then still it is not the final answer you can, you can leave this step itself as the final but it is not a complete step because we need differentiation u with respect to r only eliminate x and y that is 2 times x value e to the power r into sin theta e to the power r into sin theta and uh, e to the power r into sin theta because this quantity as it is and x value I am going to substitute in this place and there is a minus sign it is 2 times e to the power it is minus r cos theta e to the power cos theta of course uh, uh, 2 times e to the power minus r cos theta is the value of y and this step remains to be same. What is that? Minus e to the power minus r into cos theta you can simplify. Now this even if you do not simplify this will become the final value. Why? Because u is in terms of r alone. Nowhere you will find theta. Uh, that means here theta is constant but uh, uh, you will find in terms of uh, uh, with respect to r and theta only because x and y are eliminated. Okay. Then that is nothing but 2 times is there 2 into e to the power r into e to the power r is e to the power 2r sin into sin is it is sin square theta then minus it is 2 times e to the power this becomes minus 2 times that becomes plus sin okay I think it is plus sin this is minus y equal to sorry sorry this is plus sin but this is minus 2 times e to the power minus r and minus r minus 2r and then it is cos theta becomes cos square theta. Okay. Then uh, 
uh, if this was the case uh, uh, the power is same then you could have taken common factor this is del u by del r and del u by it is del theta del u by del theta but it is a function of r and theta this is function of r and theta theta is also uh, there but we need only with respect to r then theta can be eliminated by taking this uh, uh, what value that is x by y and then uh, y divided by x also you can take cos theta by sin theta otherwise sin theta by cos theta. Now del u, del u by del theta is equal to according to this step you write first to derivative u with respect to x is that is 2x into uh, x with respect to theta x with respect to theta means cos theta e to the power r into cos theta and y that is 2x e to the power r cos theta then uh, it is given it is given uh, that uh, plus sign here according to the equation del u by del y means 2y and del y by del theta that is minus sign minus e to the power minus r into it is sin theta then it is 2 times you have to eliminate x and y that is 2 times e to the power r uh, e to the power r sin theta and cos theta into e to the power 2r one more e to the power r and minus sin it is 2 times e to the power minus 2r and then sin theta sin theta and multiplication that is cos theta. So, this is the answer where uh, theta is explained here also it is function of r comma theta this also, also remains this is a contradictory result why it is contradictory because we need differential coefficient with respect to r and with respect to theta. So, this you can eliminate theta by choosing those given values. Now, I would like to stop up to this much you just go through all these contents whatever we have discussed so far so that I will be discussing in the next, uh, disc, uh, next uh, topic that is Jacobian and implicit function. Thank you.